I'm Carrie here at Sunflower Fest for cordblossom.com. Let's go take a look and see what this festival has to offer. I'll just get you guys to introduce yourselves. I'm David. Uh, I play rhythm guitar and vocals. I'm Ryan. I play uh, lead guitar. Uh, my name's Matthew. I play bass and sing a wee bit. My name's Kyle. I play the drums. Everyone's here. Everyone's here. of Sunflower Fest, what are the best things about it? Well, I think it's really good. I think it, there's, there's, uh, there's bigger festivals around Northern Ireland, but I just think, uh, personally, this one's an up-and-coming one. Uh, it's a lot more family-friendly. Friendly. So we played here last year and we really enjoyed ourselves, stayed over the weekend. Enjoying all the hippie stuff, are you maybe going to do some yoga or meditation? <laughs> no, I'm only joking, not going to do that stuff. I'm class here, it's quite fine, so I'd get myself down there for a few gigs. What about the pirating class? Pirating class? I, I download music, I buy music. <laughs> <laughs> All the luck and enjoy Sunflower Fest. Rupture dogs. Hi guys. And you've just you've just done your set, so how do you think it went? Brilliant. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good fun. Uh, there was a couple of wee technical issues, but it comes with playing the feet. So <laughs> we're pretty where you stayed at this stage. Like, but no, it's good fun, you know, because the worst thing to do is like, you know, make it obvious that there's a technical <laughs> hitch, you gotta just keep rocking and you know, have fun. But it was a dancer to dance in front of the person with something's going wrong so that it takes the attention off them. Smart. I'll be a topless woman. <laughs> this is this is our world. Glamorous, yeah. eh? It's awesome. This is this is where I live. I live in here. This um, is me. This is Garth. This is Dave. Hey, Garth Nick. there, because he's my brother, and it's not as weird sitting yeah. beside a half naked brother. Still a lot of spooning, I imagine. Yeah. If we have to hug, but it's really oh, cool. Those guys, those guys <laughs> snuggle, you know. But I'm, I don't like, I don't like to be touched. So I, yeah. I stay down here. You know. See, you yeah. kind of wake up beside this. <laughs> 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 What do you think? If 
with like the hit me hippy atmosphere. Oh, it's great. We got a guy up at the front. He dead locks his head banging away. I was just like, yes, yes, Brilliant. somebody gets it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. So. Yeah, and there were like a few children about as well. Like that's nice to see. Yeah, it's yeah, it's great. It's actually really family friendly. The whole thing, like, it's awesome. You know, and the kids play like all day. You know? Yeah, so it's, it's really a, nice. Like, I think I scared a wee two-year-old with butterfly wings on. She was playing football. And I told her it was my ball. She got very confused. I'd like to apologize to her and her family. Yeah, I thought Your she was going to cry. <laughs> Keep the ball. <laughs> the big scary man with a guitar and a beard, you know. Because that's what you are, yeah. to a child. To a child. <laughs> wake up, wake up, it's got to be real. I'm not trying for nothing. Back up, back up, stop teaching a smile when the devil can't do it. I told you before, there's no room to breathe. There's no room to recover. The album finished, sitting there, ready to go. Uh, we've got it's coming out on Halloween night, which will be a lot of fun, as you can imagine. Lots of ghouls and ghosts all running about listening to the R album, which is great. It's very fitting. And we'll be away most of October, uh, touring again. Never really sit still for too long. Kind of get all get itchy feet that we haven't played for a while. Okay, so I'm here with Emerald Armada. Uh, just want to introduce yourselves. Yes, I'm Dermot, and I play the boron and cajon and bass drum. I'm Tony, I play the guitar. Gary, I play bass. I'm the interviewer. <laughs> I'm Neil, I play guitar and sing. And I'm Ben, and I copy Neil. Pack my bags, I'm on my way. You'll see me coming back someday. Guitar in hand, and there's no sad song in my ear. Two lads backpack, I'm out of here. Sunshine so bright, but it can beat the warmth in my eyes. There's nothing here that's quite the same. No one is left for me to say. When we step off at all, and so, what do you think the atmosphere is like today? Um, it's, actually, it's it's not as busy as I thought it would be. I think it has been busier. And um, because I was here two years ago, I did a wee set in the conference. It was a bit more busy. I think that was because it was the Saturday, though. But I think there's more people pouring in as, uh, as the hours go by. And getting busier. Yeah. It's been getting busier. Do you think it's like more friendly than like other festivals? Um, it's more family oriented, which is nice to see all the, the wheels going about. But um, it's, cool. it's just cool. Any festival is great. It's a different. It's just a different atmosphere. It's just it's nice. What about the blue skies on my mind? What about the beaches where the surf rolls on the white sand? What about who I am? What have you guys been up to this year? Um, the summer we've basically just been doing all the festivals. I haven't really done many like Belfast shows or anything like that. Just booking our tour and we spent literally last week relentlessly recording our new EP. So we'll hopefully have it out for October. Um, our tour is in October. So we're just hitting the UK again. Um, heading out with a girl called Jess McAllister, who's from Brighton, Brighton Exeter. She's amazing. She's really good. Um, hopefully it'll be amazing. Come home, do a really good homecoming show. So we'll do our EP launch at the end of the tour. Hopefully that's the plan. And then have a big homecoming show, wreck the place. 
do the normal thing. And what time? It will pr we'll probably be on the 25th of October in Voodoo. Thanks very much, and that's Thank Emerald Armada. Check them out. Thanks for having me. <laughs> what do you think of the atmosphere here today? Oh, it's electric. It is electric. I think it's lovely. I think it's really nice. We've been to a lot of festivals. We do a lot of big festivals as well, like Glastonbury and Reading and that. But I love the small ones because they just feel so friendly and so welcoming and so relaxed. It's lovely. Uh, I've seen like grandmothers, little kids dancing and just everyone is just on the same level. Just all together, really good vibe and you can walk around, you can have chats with strangers and everyone's just, you know, in for it. Tonight as well, imagine seeing Osric Tentacles. Yeah, and, and, and you know, and, um, and Henry Clooney as well. Extra exactly. cut of fingers. Really looking forward to that as well. So, and the crack has been brilliant in the campsite. Absolutely fantastic, hasn't it? Brilliant, brilliant atmosphere. I'm here with Paola. This is. This is Phil. Phil McCarroll. My name's Adam. Uh, I'm Nick. So you've just done your set, how do you think it went? Well, the set went pretty well, yeah. We, we, the barn's quite a fun place to play, you know, it's a nice wee self-contained venue. We got, we, we got it on, we were loud, we were obnoxious, and we managed to play about nine songs or something like that. I've, I've, I've kind of forgotten already. It seemed to be okay. Yeah. Didn't notice anybody overly offended at it. Um, and I think the, the barn has a certain atmosphere in it where you know, it's nice to see people so close to the stage, uh, you know, giving you the energy right back to you. And it was great, great show. People seem to enjoy themselves. And people don't, we don't get, often get to play a barn, let's face it. Yeah, it's true, it's a pretty cool place. It's your 15 year anniversary this summer. So are you, do you have anything planned, anything special? We did, a, we did an anniversary gig in the Empire, that's kind of our second home, apart from practice rooms. And um, you know, coming up to it, you know, we were going through all the old songs, and it was kind of like we started thinking, oh my god, we are actually been playing this long, and we started going, what, you know, some of these songs are actually pretty good, some songs we've been playing a long time. And uh, yeah, we had a great time doing it, we've done a few shows in Lisburn, we're going to go out to um, a hall, Diamond Bar. <laughs> So, Give a special message to Diamond, Diamond Bar and a Hockle. We're playing our last 15th anniversary show up there on the 25th of August, which is a summer barbecue show. It's one of the best rock venues in the country. But we can't believe we've been going 15 years. Now, this guy's been in the band uh, seven years, six, six years or seven six, years. I think seven this year. Yeah. yeah. But the rest of us, I mean, I know it's hard to believe that we've been going for 15 years because we obviously look so incredibly young. But we did start <laughs> when we were 10 ish. Yeah. Yeah. Really, 10, that's so young. So, what got you interested in music? <laughs> well, I, I was lying, but I, I like the fact that you, that you believe you believe me. I'm very gullible. So, Sunflower Fest, what's it all about? Well, I have to answer this one. Obviously, I've been involved with Sunflower Fest from day one, uh, booking and stage managing and you know co-organizing and all that stuff and uh, this place is about a vibe it's about uh, an attitude it's about friendship and good times and you know watching great live bands but there's a lot more to it than that like if there's a family atmosphere here you know it, it, it's somewhere that people can come and get an escape from whatever else is happening I mean, obviously but we, we got to mention what's going on in Belfast this week and it's absolutely awful but up here in the in the country down countryside, we're having an absolutely marvellous time. All people from all different backgrounds having a brilliant time together. I know it sounds peace, love and understanding, but there's not an awful lot wrong with that. You can do anything from doing yoga, to getting massages, to, to listening to... 
the, the booking policy here is incredibly eclectic. There's everything from like the from real light jazz right up to the heaviest metal. But people don't have a snobbery or an elitism about music. It's all about good live bands, entertaining live bands, and people just enjoying the vibe. Yeah, I don't think there's many other places that can provide that, you know. Well, thanks very much, guys, Thank and you. check out Paola. Thank you very much. Thank you. Come to our festivals. Do you need more? It shatters. Here with Pocket Billards, um, you just had your set. How do you think it went? Not too bad. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the sun came out, it didn't rain, and everybody went nuts. So it was absolutely brilliant. Like, guys, uh, people seem to be really into it. Do you think uh, it has a very good atmosphere here at Sunflower Fest? Yeah, I think we really enjoy playing festivals because you know the same sort of people come and see us all the time. It's good fun. What are you up to this year? This year, well, we're kind of wrapping up on the, the festival side of things now. We've got um, Stand Hall coming up next week, next Saturday. Really looking forward to that. We've never played there and we've heard it's a great festival. So uh, we're hoping to get uh, back into the studio sort of in autumn to work on some new tunes. Uh, it's all a bit hush hush at the minute, but we're working on some stuff. Really excited about it. of Sunflower Fest? Oh, we've played here quite a lot. It's like it's three times, it's four times, even better. Yeah, and uh, we've always had a great time. Plenty of uh, good atmosphere, especially we've got the kids here as well with us, so. It's <laughs> always good. old and responsible with kids and all, you know? But it, it's a kid-friendly uh, festival, so it's great to be able to bring them along, you know? Fuck the punk shit Oh, where's it available? Uh, we've got uh, both our albums on iTunes, uh, Bandcamp, uh, pocketbillards.bandcamp.com. Uh, you can get, you can stream it on Spotify, Last FM, or you can just steal an MP3 from a friend. Sorry, we won't come after you. Uh, as well as that, you can get like you know, you can get hard copies of our CDs. You can buy it in Head and Town, um, and also of course at gigs as well. And we also sell some vinyl at gigs, so. You know, there's, there's good opportunity to get it, loads of t-shirts and all that sort of thing. So. Well, thank you very much, guys, no and good luck in the future. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Yeah. I'll have to catch one of your gigs. Uh, please do. Always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'll break you down It's the way things go in Belfast time Lift your own my life I'm not ready to leave To leave. Would you sum up for me Sunflower Fest in three words? Amazing fun and vibrant. Exciting. Um, hippie fun. It would be inclusivity. Like it's so inclusive. Everyone can literally come here. It's so open to everyone. Um, it'd be friendship because even though that's such a cliche, you make so many new friends here. And it would be just experience in general. Electric. Um, Happy, definitely, and um, just fun. So that's it for Sunflower Fest 2013. It certainly was sunny, 
We didn't have very much bad weather at all. It was psychedelic, it was fun. There was lots to do, drumming, yoga, meditation. On top of that, the food was really good. There was paella, crepes, Thai food, and the bands were by far the best. We had the Moot stage, which was really cool and indie. The campfire stage with big flaming campfires throughout the night. We had the barn with really cool rock music and metal. And then we had the main stage, which was constantly rocking. I'd really recommend coming to Sunflower 2014 and check it out for yourself. This is Carrie for Core Blossom signing off.